There's a part in the Bible in which God orders the killing of all of the Canaanites, including all of their innocent children. And this poses a bit of a problem for the idea that God is perfectly good and just. But William Lane Craig says that you can't really say that God is evil for ordering the killing of innocent children because these children would go immediately to heaven and would thus be the recipients of an infinite good. So by killing them, you're really doing them a favor and it's not really the atrocity it appears to be. Given this belief, one wonders what William Lane Craig's opinion on abortion would be. If killing innocent children results in them receiving an infinite good, then abortion must be awesome. On the Reasonable Faith website, Craig writes about this issue, and he says that we must ask ourselves, do human beings have intrinsic moral value? Because if human life has intrinsic moral value, then abortion on demand must be an abomination. But if you believe that human life has intrinsic moral value, and therefore it is wrong to kill unborn human beings, then why is it okay for God to kill children? If your response is that God killing children is permissible, permissible because they will go to heaven, then why isn't abortion permissible for the same reason? Craig goes on to say, I'm certain that most people, once they think about it, recognize that human beings are intrinsically valuable. People aren't just valuable as means to some end, rather people are ends in themselves. That's why, as Augustine said, we should love people and use things, not vice versa. Those who use people and love things are doing something profoundly immoral because they are not recognizing the inherent worth and dignity of other persons who are not not mere things to be used. But in a discussion about the slaughter of the Canaanites, Craig says that God has the right to give and take life as he sees fit. And I suppose that we're to believe that since we are not God, we're in no position to judge whether what God did was or was not for some worthwhile end. But if it is the case that those who use people are doing something profoundly immoral, you cannot therefore justify God's killing of children by saying that he had some end in mind. Even if God did kill those children for some benevolent end, that would mean that God was using those children to achieve that end, which, even according to Craig, is profoundly immoral. And if that's the case, why would it even matter that those children would go to heaven? That seems totally irrelevant if their lives are inherently valuable. Besides, if God wanted all of the Canaanites wiped out, why didn't he just make them infertile? Why wasn't that an option? And if God did, for some reason, absolutely have to kill them, why did he order other people to do it? God kills people painlessly in their sleep all the time. Why didn't he just do that instead of having them chased down and slaughtered. So it's apparent that what Craig really means is that although human life is intrinsically valuable, it's not of absolute value. And that killing people isn't always wrong as long as you have morally sufficient reasons. Craig claims that providing abortion on demand is a moral abomination, but when we examine his logic more carefully, it becomes apparent that that would really only be the case if there were not a morally sufficient reason for providing abortion on demand. I see making abortion legal, available, and as safe as possible to be profoundly better than the alternatives. Those alternatives being back alley abortions or forcing women to give birth against their will. Preventing those things are, in my opinion, morally sufficient reasons.